Pet of the Week every Thursday. Sponsored by Joy Law Firm. Just call Joy. Well, we couldn't think of better guests to be our last Pet of the Week of the year. We're joined by Erin Sullivan, Executive Board President with Dorchester Paws, and she is here with Sweet Wallace, a three-year-old hound. It's great to have you. Thank you for having us and all of your continued support of Dorchester Paws. You know, Wallace is such a sweetheart, and he's a hound, which we see a lot of those here in the Low Country. Uh, but maybe you could give us a little bit of insight into their kind of their story here and how many come to you. Yeah, absolutely. So um, we have a lot of hounds that come into Dorchester Paws. We actually have taken in nearly 4,000 animals this year. Um, and they're just very, very sweet animals, loving. You can see he's quite calm. Yes. Um, he's He's been with us since the end of November. Okay. He is up on the adoption floor. Um, and so very good temperaments, great family pets. They like to follow their nose, but quite calm as, yeah. you, can, as you can see <laughs> here. Um, what are they typically used for? So people who are new to the area, you tend to see them a lot. I tend to see them a lot actually in crates in the backs of pickup trucks because they're being taken to do a task. Yes, so they are very often used in the South for hunting dogs. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, and so they are kept in packs and occasionally a few of them fall off, get lost in the woods um, or are dumped in the woods and mm. so they end up in our shelters here in South Carolina. Um, but they are just very, very sweet loving animals and they're, they're very much and it's hard to imagine this because being that it's a dog as opposed to say a horse that is used to you know do certain things or other animals, these particular dogs, they're not really household dogs, even though they've got the temperament to be one, but they're a utility dog. Correct, that's what they're bred for. Right. Um, I know many hounds who take up on nice comfy sofas sure. and snuggle with the rest of the family and the rest of the family pets. Um, they, are, they are scent dogs, so mm -hmm. they are not, not designed to be aggressive, um, but they, they do follow their nose. Yeah, they follow their nose. But this one, he might need a little help with some commands and learning his new name. Absolutely. And all, all those things, but really an angel, an angel Absolutely. of a dog. I can see that, yes. Anytime you adopt a, a dog from a shelter, um, there's gonna be some, some pros to adopting an older dog. One, he doesn't have a puppy bladder. Right. Um, the, all of our animals do come fully vaccinated, up to date on their shots, um, are spayed and neutered. And the other side is he's, he's gonna have a little bit of learning how to walk on a leash. Wallace has probably never been on a leash before mm -hmm. uh, November. And so just a little bit of patience when you adopt a dog from a shelter, give them a chance to get in the groove of being in a house. And it's amazing how quickly they learn as well. Oh, absolutely. They, they learn so quickly. Um, and before I get to this beautiful artwork, I just want to give some numbers uh, to our viewers just to yeah. understand what Dorchester Paws does year in and year out. So let's just talk a little bit about some of the intake numbers that you had, over almost 4,000 yeah. animals. It is, um, it is kind of staggering the numbers that yeah. we've seen and the increases we've seen in 2021. Uh, we were very grateful in 2020 because COVID had a lot of people adopting. Mm -hmm. um, 2021 has not been the same, unfortunately. And so while we are a no-kill, part of no-kill South Carolina, no-kill shelter, um, we are constantly over or at capacity since May. Well, and to give you further numbers, 2,336 adoptions of those 3,807 animals. So you are not looking at a full adoption across the board. Right. Not every and animal comes in is being adopted out. So you have to care no. for them until that point. No, we do care for them. And some of those animals, um, we do service Dorchester County. While we are uh, 501c3 and, and the majority of our funding does mm -hmm. come from the public, mm -hmm. um, that does include animals that are picked up that are lost, oh, pets okay. of people of Dorchester County. So we do service animal control. Wow. And so we are finding that people who, you know, maybe their dog got out of the fenced in yard, things right. like that. Um, we care for their animals until they can come pick them up. So you go way beyond, way beyond yes. 
sheltering and adopting out animals. It's incredible all the work that you do and so you desperately need all the donations, all the support you can possibly get from our viewers. If you can't bring a dog or a cat into your home, the least we can do is to make some sort of monetary donation or supplies. Yes, supplies absolutely. Supplies are also needed, right? Um, $22 adoption fees mean that you are getting an animal that is fully spayed and neutered, vaccinated, all those things. So, yes. so that money does accomplish a lot. And that is for our event that's happening this Friday. So we okay. are doing $22 adoption fees on Friday, um, New Year's Eve. And so that'll be going on for five hours. Our goal is to adopt out 22 dogs. We do okay. have dogs and cats but if we could adopt out 22 dogs for the new year. Absolutely, that sounds great. And I just want to thank you so much for presenting us with this. This is so lovely. We're more than happy to be your partner and to help get the word out, but this is just beautiful. Lovely artwork. Thank you, thank so, you much. so much. And it's all for these little ones. Wallace, <laughs> Wallace, I'm talking to you, Wallace. You just have to learn his name. Aaron, thank you so much. It's thank been a pleasure. You. And happy new year. Happy new year to you. We're back after this.